Who are you? <laughs> Show yourself! You will become much stronger. What? What are you doing? My power is yours now. You will defeat all gods! <laughs> I was waiting for you, Son Gohan. <laughs> Unleash your fury! <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> Get ready for your end.
Looks like the big moment has arrived. This time, I will do things differently. It is your turn, Kakarot. This time, we will no longer be made pawns by the gods. <laughs> Goku! You are in total disadvantage in fighting Mr. Beerus' Akai form, but even so, he keeps smiling. This time, I already made my decision. What was your choice, Mr. Goku? Will you join us and become a destroyer? I've waited a long time for this, Son Goku. It's time to define who will be the destroyer of everything. Just like the thought of the gods have never agreed with anything and thinking that you can choose what you want whenever you want and make mortals your own paws make me extremely frustrated for that. My choice is to become a god killer, a true killer of the gods. You really are very powerful, Mr. Beerus! Looks like the big moment has arrived. Goku! You are in total disadvantage in fighting Mr. Beerus' Akai form, but even so, he keeps smiling. I've saved this transformation to use against you! I live for this day! doesn't even look like it's the true same Lord Goku as before. His skin is similar to the skin of the angels. Could it be that he was able to activate his transformation because he finally completely mastered his ultra instinct?
Son Goku, you had no chance. I always knew that. Mr. Beerus, this won't do any good. You know it. Right? This time, we will no longer be made pawns by the gods. You're right. I don't know what happened to this reality, Goku. power is that? It doesn't even look like it's the true same Lord Goku as before. Goku, you had no chance. I always knew that. This is impossible. How did you manage to do this? <laughs> <sighs> 
You will know my true power. Beerus. Transformation is all blue! His skin is similar to the skin of the angels. Could it be that he was able to activate this transformation because he finally completely mastered this ultra instinct? Next, Mr. Weiss. So that's it. That was the power of the Saiyan of prophecy. That Saiyan who defies and denies all God's decisions. Well done, Mr. Goku. I had already forgotten. In fact, this whole time I just wanted to forget. I lost them all. Well done, Son Goku. The Daishikun has come. <laughs> Did you come this far to face the gods? I have my purposes, and that ends now. I confess this will be interesting. <laughs> that energy! Goku has changed so much since the last time. What will he show? <laughs> Daishikun is among the five most powerful in the universes. I count on you, Goku. <laughs> I hope you know what you're doing, Son Goku. <laughs> that guy! You know very well that you don't stand a chance, and yet you still fight. Come on, then. Come on, Son Goku. <laughs> Those cheap tricks won't work on me! Now I can see everything! I've trained long enough to be able to feel the energy of angels! <laughs> Try to hit me if you can, Son Goku. <laughs> That's it! I can see! What? Take this! <laughs> Very good. Very good indeed. Let's go. Now you're going to take me seriously! Go 
Come on, Son Goku. Is that all you can show? <laughs> Too slow. Take this! Damn! It's too close! There's no way I can escape that! Yeah! I should have expected it! I'm finally the father of all angels! Come on! I told you those little games wouldn't work on me! Let's go! Impossible! What just happened? My arm! Was a mortal really capable of doing this to the father of angels? <laughs> Son Goku is your name. Formidable! It actually gets exciting! Even so, now you will see my true power. <laughs> you are amazing, Son Goku! I still need to get used to it. I haven't used this transformation for millennia. You are worthy, Son Goku. Shall we go to the second round? Oh! Now it's all over. Goku, what are you going to do? He truly recognized me as worthy of his real power. Is Son Goku ready? Or are you afraid? <clears throat> that orb gives me chills! But I won't flinch. <clears throat> <laughs> if you don't attack me, I will. Now it's all or nothing! Now that's annoying. You're really not coming, so I'll go! He's just playing with me! I'll still regret it!
<laughs> you monster. You'll pay for that. <laughs> You'll pay for that. <laughs> you took my body. You took my life. And now it's time to pay. That guy may not look like much, but I get the feeling he'd be tough in the ring. Most keenly recognized, Goku. Many would be deceived by his appearance, but when it comes to fighting prowess, the Grand Minister is considered to be in the top five. Among... Goku's back, he's young again. Facing shadows, evil in the den. Makai shins, threats so dark in Makai kingdom. Leave a mark, child and body, power so grand. Ready to fight. Take a stand, new world challenges are new, all foes arise, nothing new. Childhood warrior, fight to win, dragon ball powers deep within, new transformation rise and glow, Makai falls, watch them go. Stronger than ever, don't be fooled. Child form, the heart's a jewel Training hard, skies and ground Peace in Makai must be found Ancient legends whisper there New form rising in the air Power bright, aura blue Makai oceans coming through Fists of fury, spirits high Makai kingdom leave a mark Dragon Ball's quest begins In this fight, Goku grins be found. Stronger than ever, don't be fooled. Child form, the heart's a jewel. Training hard, skies and ground. Peace in Makai must be found. Ancient legends whispers there. New form rising in the air. Power bright, or a blue. Makai oceans coming through. Ancient legends whispers Spirits high, Makai Kingdom touch the sky. Dragon Ball's quest begins in this fight. Goku grins. All the universes. Uh, yeah? That's awesome! Shh! Uh, needles! Uh, no, no! I hate needles! Get me out! Dragon Ball. Time never stands still.
and the next generation of warriors was finally growing up. Goten and Trunks, the sons of Son Goku and Vegeta, respectively, were now in their teens with both already showing incredible potential from an early age. With Goku and Vegeta often away from Earth, battling threats in other universes and honing their skills, the young warriors were beginning to understand that the future of protecting the planet might fall to them. Despite their immense strength, Goten and Trunks had always been known for their playful spirit. They took their training seriously, but often viewed battles as a form of entertainment. But as they grew older, this attitude began to change. The responsibilities and expectations that their parents and teachers placed on them weighed more heavily. They knew it was time to take their training more seriously. Whis, the angel and mentor to Goku and Vegeta, also noticed this change. He knew that the Earth in Universe 7 as a whole could not rely solely on Goku and Vegeta forever. It was necessary for a new generation of warriors to emerge, capable of defending the new universe to level. And he saw in Goten and Trunks the potential to be those kinds of warriors. One day, while Goten and Trunks were training together in an open field, we suddenly appeared, floating serenely in the air. The two young warriors stopped what they were doing and looked at him in surprise. Whis, what are you doing here? Trunks asked. We smiled gently. I came to see how the future defenders of Earth are doing. You two boys are working hard. But I feel there is still much more for you to achieve. We are training every day. We want to become as strong as our parents. Wee's nodded, pleased with their determination. That's good, that's good. But I feel like you're ready for something more, something bigger. Golden Trunks, the Earth can't always depend on Goku and Vegeta, you know it. One day you'll need to take the reins and defend this planet, maybe even the universe. I want to offer you the opportunity to train under my guidance. What do you say? Well, Goku and Vegeta have learned a lot from me. And I believe it's time for you to learn, too. I have something special in store for you, if you accept. Goten and Trunks didn't hesitate. They had both seen how much their parents had grown thanks to the training with Whis. And the opportunity to follow in their footsteps was irresistible. We're, We're in! They said almost a unison, full of determination. We smile. Oh, very well then. Come with me. Whis took them to the planet of Beerus, the god of destruction. The environment was peaceful and secluded, ideal for the training Whis had in mind. The moment had arrived. Goten and Trunks felt the pressure of the intense key that permeated the planet. A sensation that made them realize that this place was unlike any other they had trained on. This planet is where Goku and Vegeta train to reach new levels of power. Here, you will have the chance to surpass your own limits. The training began immediately. Whis was no ordinary instructor. His approach was different, focusing on the harmony between mind and body as well as testing Goten and Trunks' physical limits in ways they had never experienced before. Whis introduced new techniques and concepts that initially left them perplexed. He encouraged them to reach a state of awareness that went beyond simple brute strength. You must understand that strength is not everything. A true warrior must be able to adapt, to react without thinking, to anticipate the opponent's moves, and most importantly, to remain calm in any situation. Although the challenge was palpable, the real challenge lay in mental discipline. Goten and Trunks, known for being impulsive and often playful, had to learn to control their emotions, to focus their energy precisely and efficiently. After weeks of training, Whis decided it was time for them to take Goten and Trunks to a new level. He knew they had the potential to access the power of a god, just like Goku and Vegeta before them. 
Okay, go on then, Trunks. You've already shown me great progress. Well, now, it's time for you to learn something that took your parents a long time to achieve. Super Saiyan God. Goten and Trunks were surprised. They had heard stories about how Goku and Vegeta had achieved this transformation, but they never imagined that they would also be able to do it. But wait, how are we going to do it? Goten asked, trying to hide his excitement. The power of a Super Saiyan God is something that goes beyond simple, physical transformation. It is a connection with a divine being, a divine energy, a state of being that requires more than just willpower. You will have to open your minds and your hearts to something greater than anything you have ever experienced. Whis began to explain the ritual Goku had performed to become a Super Saiyan God for the first time, but with a twist. He believed that with proper training, Goten and Trunks could access this form without the need of a ritual, just as Vegeta had eventually done. You already have the potential. Now, you just need to learn how to channel that energy. The training continued. Whis had Goten and Trunks meditate in high-pressure environments. They had to learn to remain calm, to focus internally, and to sense the divine energy around them. Days, weeks passed, and then finally, Whis believed they were ready to attempt the transformation. He led them to an open field where the sky seemed to touch the horizon in a vast sea of clouds. Golden Trunks. This time, the time has come. Concentrate. Feel the power within you, but do not try to control it. Let it flow naturally. You are Saiyans, but you are also more than that. You are heirs to a power that transcends mortals. They remembered everything they had learned. All the challenges they had overcome, they began to feel a different energy. Something pure and powerful emanating from within them. The wind around them began to blow stronger and the ground beneath them began to shake. Whis watched intently, his gaze fixed on the two young warriors. The aura around Goten and Trunks began to change. From gold to a deep red, a clear sign that they were approaching their divine state. <coughs> this is... Trunks murmured, feeling the growing power in his body. This is incredible! Goten, at his side, was also ecstatic, but focused on maintaining control. Yeah, I can feel it. It's like something bigger is taking over. The transformation was almost complete. The red energy surrounding them became brighter, denser. Their bodies began to glow with a divine light, and their hair, which had previously been golden in Super Saiyan form, now turned a deep red. And then, in an instant of pure power, both young warriors screamed at the same time, releasing all the energy they had accumulated. The scream echoed across the planet, and when the light finally dimmed, Goten and Trunks were standing, transformed into Super Saiyan Gods. They opened their eyes, now glowing an intense red, and felt the change. The feeling of power was overwhelming. But at the same time, there was a strange calm, a feeling of absolute control. It was as if all the energy in the universe was at their disposal. Hmm. <laughs> Congratulations, goat and trunks. You did it. Now, you are truly Super Saiyan gods. Trunks and Goten knew that this power was unlike anything they had ever experienced, and that with it, they could protect the Earth and those they love. This is incredible, Whis! Ex exclaimed Goten, still feeling the divine energy coursing through his veins. I feel like I can do anything! Trunks, more focused, looked at Whis seriously. Thank you, Whis. We know this is just the beginning. 
But we are ready to continue training and become even stronger. <laughs> That's the right spirit, boys. Remember, the power you now possess should not be used lightly. It is a divine power. And with it comes great responsibility. But knowing you two, I'm sure you will be up to the challenge. They understood the importance of these words. And they knew that with this new power they had to be even more careful and responsible. But they also knew that they were ready to face any challenge that came their way. Finally, the day came when we deemed them ready to return to Earth. You have made great progress, boys. I am confident that with this power you possess, you will be able to protect the Earth from any threat. But I must remind you, training never ends. There's always more to learn. If you feel like you want to come back here to get stronger, please do. You are welcome. Now they were more than just sons of Goku and Vegeta. They were warriors worthy of protecting the planet and its universe. Upon their return to Earth, they were greeted with great enthusiasm by their friends and family. Everyone could feel the difference in Goten and Trunks, not only in their energy, but also in the way they carry themselves. They now exuded a calm confidence, a maturity that had been lacking before. Goten and Trunks knew that no matter what the future brought, they would be ready prepare to face any challenge. With the power of a Super Saiyan God by their side, they would not only honor their parents' legacy, but also create a new legacy of their own, as the heroes who would protect the universe and ensure peace for future generations. And as the sun set over the horizon, illuminating the sky with hues of red and gold, Goten and Trunks, knew that their journey was only just beginning. With the power of a god and the determination of a warrior, they were ready for anything that came their way. High in the sky, as Goku and Vegeta exchanged fierce blows on an inhabited plane, their powers had grown so much that their clashes caused earthquakes and natural collapses. However, the force of the impact of their blows and the explosions of energy not only affected the environment, but also the hearts of the spectators who were watching the fight from a distance. <laughs> Regina, you're getting stronger and stronger! <clears throat> Don't joke, Kakarot! Show me all your power, now! The two warriors increased their strength, exchanging blows at an incredible speed. Almost impossible to follow with a naked eye. They moved like figures, with the air vibrating around them due to the intensity of the combat. With each impact, the earth shook and cracks spread across the ground. They never stop, do they? Every time they fight, they become even stronger. <sighs> I hope they don't destroy the earth this time. I'll have a lot of work to fix everything later. This is part of their trading. They know how far they can go. The fight went on for hours. Exhaustion didn't seem to affect Goku and Vegeta, who continued to exchange devastating blows and deliver colossal energy attacks. The shockwaves created strong winds, causing trees to sway violently and rocks to be lifted from the ground. Meanwhile, a portal began to open in the sky, its edges glowing with an intense purple light. From that portal, Two dark wizards emerged, dressed in black robes and eyes sparkling with dark menace. They were wizards from the Bakai Kingdom, known for their ancient and dangerous magic. <laughs> it looks like this is where we will change the universes. Everything is prepared. Yes, this is the perfect time. Let the enchantment begin! The wizards raised their hands to the sky, beginning to recite words in an ancient and powerful language. Their eyes glowed with a sinister light as the magical words echoed through the air. A circle of energy formed around them, rapidly expanding and covering the entire area where Goku and Vegeta were fighting. <coughs> Vegeta! Do you feel that? Yes! <clears throat> Something's wrong! 
before they could react. A wave of energy emanated from the wizards, hitting Goku, Vegeta, and all their friends who were watching the fight. The energy was strange and powerful, enveloping them in an intense glow. What's going on? I can't move! Suddenly, everyone felt their bodies begin to change. Goku and Vegeta felt their energy dissipating and their bodies shrinking. In a matter of seconds, they became children, with their costumes now too big for their small bodies. The same happened with all the other Z Fighters. What? What happened to me? Magic! Those damn wizards turn us into children! Goku! Vegeta! Are you okay? No, I'm fine. But this is really weird. We need to figure out how to reverse this. They must be the cause. <laughs> we need to stop them. The mages laughed as they saw the confusion and vulnerability of the Z Warriors. The transformation had worked exactly as planned. Now, Goku and Vegeta were children, their energies drastically reduced, and their combat capability severely limited. <laughs> Look at them! They are no longer a threat. Now, the Makai Kingdom can begin changing the universes without interference. <laughs> he won't stay like this. Let's find a way to reverse this. Damn you! I will destroy you no matter what shape I am in! <sighs> I'll look for a solution. Let's not let these wizards win. The Z Warriors, now transformed into children, banded together to face the new threat. Although they were physically weakened, their determination and courage remained intact. They would need to use all their intelligence and teamwork to defeat the Makai Kingdom's wizards and reverse the transformation. While the wizards continue their enchantment, ready to begin the change of universes they had planned. The battle was just beginning and Goku, Vegeta, and their friends were determined not to let the Makai Kingdom win. The fight for their identities and the fate of Earth was about to intensify. Father! Vegeta! We have to think of a strategy. We can't face them directly like this. It's true, Gohan. We're going to need all the help we can get. Boma! Can you track any signs of magic that could help us reverse this? I'm working on it. But we need to save time. Let's keep them busy while Boma searches for a solution. We cannot underestimate them. This is surreal. I never thought I would see my father and Goku like that. <laughs> That's kind of fun. But scary at the same time. <laughs> True, Goten. Let's look at this as a new challenge. And don't worry, we'll get back to normal. Yes, but first we need to finish off these wizards. They underestimated us, and that will be their undoing. The Z Warriors, now in children's bodies, prepare to face the mages of the Makai Kingdom. Even with their powers reduced, their determination was unshakable. They knew that the key of to reversing the transformation and stopping the mages' plans was to unite their forces and use all their cunning and courage. Meanwhile, the wizards continued their enchantment, confident in their victory. But they would soon realize that even in children's bodies, the Z Fighters were formidable adversaries. The battle for Earth and the future of the universes was just beginning, and Goku, Vegeta, and their friends were ready to fight with everything they had. <laughs> Let's see how you do, little warriors. The change of universes is underway, and nothing can stop us! Prepare to witness the power of the Makai Kingdom! The fight would continue, with Goku, Vegeta, and the Z Fighters facing an unprecedented challenge. Even in their reduced forms, they would show that true strength lies not just in physical power, but in courage and the determination to protect what is important. And so, the epic battle for Earth and the fate of the universes would continue, with the Z Warriors ready to face any adversity. Planet Earth the battlefield was silent for a brief moment after the sundered transformation of Goku, Vegeta, and their friends into children. 
The surprise and shock were palpable, but even in their childlike bodies, the determination in Goku and Vegeta's eyes was unmistakable. Damn it! You're going to pay for this! Vegeta, let's finish them off! Come on, Kakarot! Galagon! Just as Goku and Vegeta prepared to launch their attacks. <laughs> Don't think that it'll be easy! The wizard created a magical barrier around himself and then opened a glowing portal. He and his fellow wizard entered the portal, leaving Goku and his friends behind on Earth, still in the form of children. Damn it! And now, what do we do? I can't believe it. I became a child too! I wanted to get younger, but not that much! We need to find them. Well, they are of course Makayoshins. The problem is that, to get to the Makai Kingdom, you will need to open another portal. And it will take, like, days for me to create a machine that can do that. You know, it doesn't matter. I'll find a way. Wait, what? Vegeta, I can't transform into a Super Saiyan. It appears our powers have been reduced. Days passed as Boma worked tirelessly to create a machine that could open a portal to the Makai Kingdom. During this time, the Z Fighters, now children, attempted to adapt to their new forms and reduced abilities. We need to speed this up. If we can't reverse the transformation soon, we will be in big trouble. Boma, look, I trust you. Let's solve this together, okay? Kakarot, we need to train! Even in these forms, we cannot stand still! Dad, do you think we can really defeat them, even as children? Of course, Gohan! Never underestimate the power of determination and teamwork! Meanwhile, in the Makai Kingdom, the wizards were preparing something sinister. The first wizard, with a malicious smile on his face, watched the progression of his plan. <laughs> It looks like everything is going according to plan! The creation of the new Janemba is almost complete! But what if the Z-Warriors can find a way to get here? Nah, it doesn't matter. They are weakened and will not be able to stop us. Janemba will be invincible! But who is Janemba? Janemba is a demonic entity born from the negative energy accumulated in the Makai Kingdom. He is a being of pure evil with incredible abilities and an insatiable thirst for destruction. With Janemba by our side, we will be able to dominate not only the Makai Kingdom, but all the universes! Yes, and no one can stop us, not even those wee warriors! <laughs> Back on Earth, Boma finally finished building the machine that could open the portal to the Makai Kingdom. Everyone gathered around her, eager and ready, for the next stage of the mission. Here it is! With this machine, we will be able to open a portal directly to the Makai Kingdom! Great job, Boma! Let's get ready to leave. Hey, Kakarot. Huh? You go. Huh? I will stay here to protect everyone. I can't risk another threat appearing while we're gone. <sighs> okay. Understood, Vegeta. I will finish off these wizards and bring everyone back to normal. Dad! Be careful! Hmm. Don't worry, Trunks. I'll make sure nothing happens here while you're gone. With the machine ready and the plan drawn up, Goku and the other Z-Warriors prepare to leave for the Makai Kingdom. Even in their childish forms, their determination had not diminished. They knew the mission would be difficult, but they were ready to face any challenge that came their way. Let's follow the plan. Stay together and protect each other. We don't know what we will find in the Makai Kingdom. Dad, we're ready. Let's get everyone back to normal. That's it, Gohan. Let's do our best. Boma activated the machine, and a glowing portal began to form before them. The portal's pulsing energy illuminated the area, creating an atmosphere of anticipation and determination. Good luck, guys! We will be waiting for you! <laughs> Let's get this over with. The Z-Warriors enter the portal, ready to face the mages of the Makai Kingdom and undo the transformations that had turned them into children. In the Makai Kingdom, the mages continued their preparations to awaken Janemba, 
confident that no one could stop their plans. But did they not count on the courage and persistence of the Z-Warriors? <laughs> We're so close! Soon, Janemba will be among us, and the entire cosmos will tremble before our power! Yes, and nothing can stop us! Not even those foolish warriors! As Goku and his friends passed through the portal, they felt the dark, intense energy of the Makai Kingdom surrounding them. They knew they were entering dangerous and unknown territory, but they also knew they were not alone. Together, they would face any challenge that came their way. We're coming, wizards! And we will put an end to your plans once and for all! The portal closed behind Goku, now in his child body, as he arrived in the Makai King. The atmosphere was oppressive, charged with negative energy and darkness. The sky was permanently covered by black clouds, and the ground was barren and crackled, as if the life had been drained from the place. No, oh, this place is quite strange, isn't it? never been to a place like this before. As he walked through the inhospital terrain, Goku began to notice movements in the shadow. Several grotesque-looking demons emerged, surrounding him. They were varied in shape, with sharp claws, horns, and eyes glowing with mischief. Look! A human in the Makai Kingdom! How delightful! It will be fun to crush him! Don't think I'm easy prey. Let's fight! Even in his infant body, Goku maintained his combat skills. He prepared for battle, determined to face any challenge that came his way. Kamehame! Ah! A wave of blue energy shot out of Goku's hands, hitting a group of demons and instantly disintegrating them. The other demons hesitated for a moment, surprised by the child's strength. <laughs> Let's see what you got! He jumped into the air and delivered a powerful kick, knocking down another demon. He then launched a series of rapid punches and kicks, defeating the demons one by one. Uh, how can a child be this strong? I'm not just any kid. I'm Son Goku! More demons appeared, tried to overwhelm him with numbers, but Goku continued to fight with a dexterity and precision that no one had seen before. Every strike and energy attack was devastating, eliminating the demons easily. <laughs> this should teach them not to underestimate me. <laughs> Goku continued to advance, the landscape of the Makai Kingdom becoming increasingly strange and frightening. Ancient structures and shadowy ruins rose to the horizon, and the air was charged with a malevolent energy. This place is really bizarre. Where are those wizards? As he advanced, more demons appeared to try to stop him, but Goku easily defeated them. Finally, he arrived at a large fortress, built of black stones and decorated with arcane symbols. The doors of the fortress were immense, and powerful energy emanated from within. <sighs> they must be inside! It's time to end this! <sighs> he pushed open the fortress doors, entering the main hall. Inside, the two Makai Kingdom mages were waiting for him, with sinister smiles on their faces. You really made this far, kid? <laughs> Impressive. But that ends now. We won't let you ruin our plans. I will defeat you and bring everyone back to normal. We'll see about that, brat. Let the battle begin! The wizards threw powerful spells at Goku but he deftly dodged and counterattacked with his martial arts techniques and energy waves. The battle within the fortress was intense, with explosions of energy, of power and magic colliding in all directions. <laughs> you won't win! <laughs> He's stronger than we thought! It doesn't matter! We must destroy him! The battle continued to rage, with Goku facing the Makai Kingdom's wizards in a life and death fight. Even in his childish body, he didn't give up, determined to win and save his friends. I'm Goku, and I will never give up! Goku's energy began to rise, glowing brightly as he released his full power. 
The mages, realizing they were at a disadvantage, retreated, trying to find a way to defeat him. To be continued. Makai King, don't touch the sky. Dragon Ball's quest begins in this fight. Goku grins. The sky suddenly darkens and an immense dragon appears, causing Goku to stop his training and stare in awe. Whoa, who are you? I am Zalama, the creator of the Super Dragon Balls. Son Goku, I have an urgent mission for you. A mission? What's going on? The malicious dragons spawned from the misuse of the Dragon Balls are draining my powers. Their strength has been growing exponentially, threatening the balance of the universe. You're saying these dragons are getting stronger by draining your power? Exactly. Their power levels are increasing, and Daishinkan informed me that you are among the strongest warriors in your universe. This task falls upon you, Son Goku. Ha ha ha, I love fighting strong opponents. This will be more complicated than you imagine. In the past, the power of these dragons surpassed even that of the angels. What? Stronger than the angels? Salama. Indeed. But I am confident you can succeed. I visited Universe 11 and witnessed the power of Jiren the Grey. I had a vision of the future, where your universe will soon be invaded by the Ice Dragon. Jiren will need your help. Jiren, that guy's tough. This is going to be awesome. Oh my, Mr. Goku, it seems you'll have to venture to Universe 11. Oh, 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 oh. Scene, Whis Training Grounds. Goku and Whis prepare for the journey. Whis uses his staff to create a portal to Universe 11. Goku, remember, these dragons are not like any foes you've faced before. Their power is immense, and they have the ability to drain your energy. Stay vigilant. Got it, Whis. I'll give it everything I've got. Scene, Universe 11, Jiren's Training Grounds. Goku steps out of the portal and is greeted by Jiren, who is deep in meditation. Goku, what brings you to Universe 11? Hey, Jiren, Zalama sent me. He said there's an ice dragon coming and we'll need to team up to stop it. An ice dragon? If Zalama deems it a threat, it must be powerful. Let's prepare. Scene, en route to the ice dragon's lair, Goku and Jiren fly towards the source of a chilling energy. The environment becomes increasingly cold and hostile. I can feel its presence. The ice dragon is near. Yeah, the energy is intense. This is gonna be fun. The ice dragon emerges, a colossal beast with scales that shimmer like ice. It roars, sending a blizzard towards Goku and Jiren. Foolish mortals, you dare challenge me? Goku, you bet. Let's see how tough you really are. Stay focused, Goku. We need to work together. Goku and Jiren charge at the ice dragon, launching a barrage of punches and energy blasts. The dragon counters with icy breath and sharp claws, creating a fierce battle. Your efforts are futile. Feel the wrath of the ice dragon. The dragon releases a massive wave of freezing energy. Goku and Jiren narrowly dodge, but the cold saps their strength. Jiren, we need to finish this quickly. Let's combine our powers. Agreed. Follow my lead. Jiren powers up, in his aura flaring with intense energy. Goku taps into Ultra Instinct, his movements becoming fluid and precise. Jiren, now, Goku, attack with everything you have. Right. Goku and Jiren synchronize their attacks their combined power overwhelming the ice dragon. With a final, coordinated strike, they shatter the dragon's icy exterior, defeating it. No, this cannot be. The ice dragon disintegrates into shards of ice, which then dissolve into nothingness. The oppressive cold fades and the environment returns to normal. We did it, Jiren. Indeed. Your strength and determination are commendable, Goku. Goku and Jiren return through the portal. Zalama appears once more, his form glowing with gratitude. Zalama, you have done well, Son Goku. The Ice Dragon has been vanquished, and my powers are beginning to recover. It was tough, but we pulled through. Thanks for the help, Jiren. The battle was necessary. We will always be ready to defend the universes. Congratulations, Goku. Your efforts have restored balance once more. But remember, there are still other malicious dragons out there. I know, Wiss. I can't wait to face them. This is just the beginning. Your bravery and strength will be needed again, Goku. But for now, rest and recover. The universe owes you a great debt. The stars shimmer faintly in the void of space. 
Suddenly, a dark energy permeates the galaxy as Omega Shenron materializes, his presence causing the very fabric of the universe to tremble. It seems a dragon has been defeated with ease. Every time a dragon is slain, my powers grow stronger. Omega Shenron's aura flares, dark and ominous, as he revels in the power surge. But who could possess such strength to accomplish this feat? Soon I will find out. Ha ha ha! Zalama, your throne will be mine. Goku stands amidst a field of swirling energy, concentrating intensely. His aura is calm and radiant, indicating his attempt to reach divine key. I feel like I'm reaching the serenity of true power, Lord Wiss. Oh ho ho! Very well, Mr. Goku. Your progress is remarkable. You've been training hard, Goku. Are you trying to surpass me? You bet, Lord Beerus, I want to be ready for anything, especially if those dragons come back stronger. Speaking of which, the defeat of the Ice Dragon has likely stirred something far more dangerous. The balance of power is shifting. Indeed! Goku, you need to be prepared for whatever comes next. Omega Shenron is no ordinary dragon. His strength is said to be immense. Omega Shenron? Sounds like a tough opponent. I can't wait! Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Goku. Your training must be thorough. You need to master Divine Key to stand a chance against him. Goku resumes his meditation, his aura becoming more refined and powerful. Meanwhile, Whis observes with a discerning eye. Omega Shenron stands before a dark, swirling portal, gathering the energies of the defeated dragons. The power of the fallen dragons fuels me. Soon I will be unstoppable. But first, I need to confront the one who dares to challenge my reign. Omega Shenron's eyes glow with malevolent intent as he prepares to leave his lair. Goku's training intensifies as he pushes his limits, aiming to harness Divine Key fully. Whis continues to guide him while Beerus watches with interest. Remember, Goku, the key to Divine Key is inner peace and complete control over your emotions. Right, Whis. I can feel it. I'm almost there. Suddenly, Zalama appears before them, his expression grave. Goku, your progress is commendable, but we have little time. The defeat of the Ice Dragon has accelerated Omega Shenron's plans. So he's getting stronger every time we take down one of those dragons? Exactly. Omega Shenron's power is immense and growing, but there's something you should know. The Ice Dragon you faced was just an illusion created by me. What? Are you serious? Yes, the real Ice Dragon's power is far greater. You need to feel the Divine Key to discover which galaxy it resides in. Jiren, appearing suddenly. Planet Frio. Huh? Planet Frio? What's that place? It's the coldest place in this universe, inhabited only by the Frieza race. It's the perfect environment for the Ice Dragon to amplify its powers. I wish you the best of luck. From now on, I will return to my realm. If you need my assistance, try using Divine Telepathy, Son Goku. I'm counting on you. Ah, man! Let's head to this place, Jiren! With determination burning in his eyes, Goku turns to Whis. Whis, can you take us to Planet Frio? Of course, Goku. Hold on tight. Whis uses his staff to create a portal, transporting Goku and Jiren to Planet Frio. The atmosphere is harsh, with biting winds and a landscape covered in ice and snow. The cold is so intense that even Goku feels it. Wow, this place is freezing. No wonder it's called Planet Frio. Focus, Goku. We need to locate the Ice Dragon before it causes more harm. Right, let's search for its key. Goku and Jiren close their eyes, sensing for the Ice Dragon's immense energy. After a moment, Goku's eyes snap open. I can feel it. That way. Lead the way. They dash across the frozen landscape, their breaths visible in the frigid air. Suddenly, they come upon a massive icy cavern, the entrance radiating a powerful cold key. This has to be it. Be on guard. We don't know what tricks it might have. As they step inside, the temperature drops even further. The ice dragon's energy pulses stronger with each step they take. Deep within the cavern, they find the dragon, its massive form coiled around a cluster of glowing crystals. There it is, the real ice dragon. Let's finish this. As they prepare for battle, Goku's determination burns brighter than ever. He knows the fight ahead will be tough, but with Jiren by his side, he feels ready to face whatever comes their way. The cave is vast and foreboding, the air thick with an icy cold that would paralyze a normal being. The ice dragon is imposing and imposing, its body glowing with a chilling blue aura. 
Goku and Jiren remain resolute, ready for battle. So you managed to survive the pressure of this planet? We're going to take you down. Huh. This guy is strong. Ha 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 ha. Come to me. The ice dragon's power begins to increase exponentially. Its aura expands and fills the cave with an intense cold. Goku's aura explodes in response, his energy glowing with intensity. The battle begins with a violent confrontation. Goku and Jiren attack the ice dragon, their combined attacks shaking the cave's foundations. Blasts of energy and powerful attacks are exchanged, each fighter pushing their limits. You're very strong. Is that all you have, Scion? Hours pass as the battle rages on, with neither side willing to give an inch. The cave is filled with the sounds of explosions and roars of fighters. Goku's excitement increases as the fight continues. I haven't fought so well in a long time. Despite the intense battle, the Ice Dragon's power continues to increase, its attacks becoming more ferocious. Goku, feeling the tension, realizes that he must go beyond his current limits. Goku, with a serious look, it's time to end this. Goku closes his eyes, his aura calming as he concentrates. Suddenly, his energy increases and his hair turns silvery white. His eyes open, revealing Ultra Instinct's calm, penetrating gaze. Ultra Instinct! The ice dragon roars in defiance, launching a massive wave of ice towards Goku. In an instant, Goku effortlessly dodges, his movements fluid and precise. He reappears behind the dragon, delivering a powerful blow that sends him crashing into the cave wall. Impossible! How can you move so fast? This is the end for you. With his Ultra Instinct fully activated, Goku moves with blinding speed, landing blow after blow on the Ice Dragon. The dragon, despite its immense power, is unable to keep up with Goku's new form. Watching in awe, your power is incredible. The Ice Dragon, realizing he is at a disadvantage, unleashes all of his power in a desperate attempt to win. The cave begins to collapse under his energy force. If I fall, I'll take you with me. No way! Goku channels his energy into a massive Kamehameha, the bright blue beam cutting through the dragon's attack and hitting him squarely. The ice dragon lets out a final deafening roar before disintegrating, causing the cave to collapse around it. We did it! That was impressive, Goku. Your power is truly remarkable. Outside the collapsed cave, cold planet Goku and Jiren emerge from the rubble, their bodies covered in dust and debris. The sky above is clear, and the icy winds have calmed down. That was a tough fight, but it looks like we won. Indeed, but this is just the beginning. If Omega Shenron is as powerful as Zalama said, we will need to be even stronger. Appearing suddenly, Well done, Goku. You have proven your strength once again. But be warned, the path ahead is filled with even greater challenges. Thank you, Zalama. I'll keep getting stronger. Whatever it takes. We'll be ready for Omega Shenron. Good. Remember, the fate of the universe depends on your success. I will return to my kingdom now. If you need my help, use divine telepathy, Son Goku. I'm counting on you. Zalama disappears, leaving Goku and Jiren helpless, but his determination is stronger than ever. Let's keep training, Jiren. We need to be ready for whatever comes next. I agree. The battle against Omega Shenron will be our biggest challenge yet. As they prepare to leave, Goku feels a strange sensation in his mind, almost like a whisper. Did you hear that? I heard what? I thought I heard a voice. It doesn't matter. Let's go. They soar into the sky, their minds focused on the battles to come, unaware that Omega Shenron is already planning his next move. Shenron stands before a dark, swirling portal, his eyes glowing with malevolent intent. Omega Shenron. So a Saiyan and a mortal think they can challenge me? How fun! Let them come. Every victory they achieve only brings them closer to their destruction. He lets out a sinister laugh, the darkness around him pulsing with his growing power. Zalama, your throne will be mine and no one will stand in my way, not even the mighty son Goku. The scene fades to black, the ominous laughter of Omega Shenron echoing in the void. Goku and Jiren return to Beerus's planet, where Whis and Beerus are waiting. You're back. Did you defeat the Ice Dragon? Yeah, but it was tough. 
will need to be even stronger for Omega Shenron. Oh ho ho, well done, Mr. Goku. But remember, the journey to true power is never ending. We have much work to do. I'm ready, Whis. Let's get started. As Goku prepares to continue his training, he knows that the battle against Omega Shenron will be his greatest challenge yet. But with his friends by his side and the power of Ultra Instinct, he is determined to succeed. The Divine Revolt Goku's Awakened Wrath in an Alternate Timeline In an alternate timeline, a shadow fell over the cosmic balance. 